Guys, I'm not going to lie, I think I found the best ritual solution for maximum FPS in Fortnite Chapter 3. I literally got around 4 to 500 FPS in arena while playing guys and I gotta say this is truly amazing. So first of all, we're gonna take a look guys, I'm gonna show you like some arena gameplay so you can see like all the benchmarks and FPS and all the good stuff. Later on we're also gonna hop into creative just to try it out overall, how good it actually is for editing and free building and afterwards I'm of course also going to show you how to apply this ritual solution. So therefore if you guys enjoy this content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this without mode, say so much and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. But before we continue with the video guys, as you can see I just upgraded my setup a little bit more. We right now have your aqua control plus mouse pad actually and a custom cord cable which looks so insanely good and also feels super high quality. Huge huge shout out to Keys Customs over on Twitter guys, I'm gonna leave a link to them in the description and I mean it just looks insane bro and now let's continue with the video. And the stretch resolution we're going to take a look at in today's video is 678 times 480 and guys trust me this resolution is simply amazing especially for low-end PCs. And yeah guys as you can see right now in the gameplay in the background I just played a little bit of arena here and I gotta say the FPS just simply felt amazing guys like my gaming experience was so smooth I had like always above like 3 to 400 FPS sometimes even like 7 800 which was actually crazy for arena you know but I gotta say the stretch resolution is truly amazing and, and it was also still like decently playable you you know the picture wasn't like too pixelated, it was still kind of decent, you know, I could see everything and the FOV was still also like very good in my opinion. I had enough vision to still like not be at such a big competitive disadvantage and I gotta say especially if you struggle with FPS, I would rather go for a more smoother gaming experience and lose a little bit of my FOV on the sides, you know, instead of like playing on like 30 FPS on normal like 1080p or 720p. So therefore yeah, I could only recommend it and I'm just gonna leave the gameplay here run now and then later on we're gonna take a look at creative as well afterwards. And yeah guys, now once we take a look at creative, I gotta say the FPS also felt insane guys. We had like always between like four to seven, eight hundred FPS on average, especially also while building, not while looking into the sky or something, you know? So therefore, yeah, this is truly amazing, 100%. And as you can see, I could still like do all the edits or like normal stuff, you know, hit all my shots and everything just as on native. So therefore, I wouldn't really say that there's like a competitive disadvantage. You just really gotta like give it a chance, you know? Like it looks a little bit weirder in the first place, but I mean, you can get used to it quite easy. And yeah, and as mentioned, I of fun here in creative myself and yeah I can only recommend guys like for fighting free building and everything if you want to be like a creative warrior or you played like tons of creative this is still gonna be like a really good resolution for you and yeah guys now I'm obviously also going to show you actually real quick how to apply this switch resolution and all you guys gotta do is hit your windows key you know so you find like this menu here then you're gonna type in presenter temp presenter and open up the first file which pops up then we're gonna make it a little bit more centered and then you're gonna click onto local press F on your keyboard until you find Fortnite game saved config, Windows client, and there we got now here our game user settings. But before you change anything guys, please go into properties and make sure that the attribute read only is actually unchecked. Afterwards you can open them up, you know, just scroll down a little bit until we find our resolution, which should be somewhere around here. And there we already got it guys. And there you can see we once have our normal resolution size X and Y, and then also our last user confirmed resolution sizes X and Y. And for X, we're gonna type in here for both 678, and for Y resolution on both as well here, 480. And yeah, once you make sure that you pasted it in here for both of them, just simply click on the file, save it, and then you can like um, close it here. And then afterwards, once you see here your game user settings guys, we're gonna go again into properties, and just overall to make sure that you don't change it by accident, you can actually now put in here the attribute read only, you know, 
So therefore it won't get changed, even though if you accidentally change your resolution in Fortnite, you know, it's just going to stay next time um, once you relaunch it again on that resolution. So therefore you're going to click on apply. Okay. And then we can close it. And then afterwards you can already launch Fortnite and enjoy having this best resolution for low end PCs and maximum FPS in chapter three. And yeah, guys, with that said, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. I'm with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. That shit too light Big four, hoe come get inside Diamond Gucci 